everyone, Cadams Tech here. So in today's video, I wanted to discuss why I love being a software engineer. I'm aiming to provide useful information to you in this video. All I ask in return is that you smash the like button, subscribe, and click that bell notification so you're alerted whenever a new video is released. Also, if you know anyone that's interested in learning development, feel free to share my videos with them. So why do I love being a software engineer? Well, let me take you back. Let me take you back. Guys, let me take you back to when it all started. So, a little bit of background. When I was a kid, I used to play a ton of computer games. I was more into uh, MMORPGs, which are like online games where there's hundreds, if not thousands of players, depending on which game I'm playing. Played games like Star Wars Galaxies, World of Warcraft, and various others, Star Wars The Old Republic things like that, and um, they've always hooked me. They've always steered me and gra made me gravitate towards the computer, right? But I didn't think I, I wanted to grow up to actually work on the computer, so I've always steered away from that because I was worried it might steer me away from playing computer games. I didn't want to be strapped to a computer 24-7. Um, I, I thought like, hey, if I had to work all day long on the computer, come home, play video games at night, that's just like, an insane amount of computer time. That's probably gonna be like, I don't know, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, a lot of hours, right? So I've always stayed clear of that. I've tried various things. So I've worked as an electrician. I worked as an automotive technician. I have graduated culinary school. I have dabbled in many different things. I've worked in restaurants um, and nothing has hooked me like software engineering, right? Development. Writing code, laying down some code, guys. Get excited for it because it's pretty fun. So a little bit more of a backstory. My grandfather was a programmer his entire career. And that's kind of what turned me on to it. I was thinking, hey, if my grandfather liked this for his entire career, maybe I'll try it out, right? Um, so I actually tried out for an introduction to programming class when I was in college. And I didn't graduate college yet. I'm pretty close. I'm going to finish. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm about five classes away from my bachelor's in software development, but this has been at a standstill since I started working as a software engineer. That's a tangent. Tangent, right? But the thing is this. So they started me off with Python and I went into it with the mindset of, eh, I probably won't like it, but I just want to give it a try because I'm kind of playing around with um, learning about myself and what I want to do as a potential career for the rest of my life is the way I thought back in those days. So, first day, first line of code, print hello world, right? And I immediately was like, this is awesome. I really had that feeling. This is awesome. I want to make this into a career. I want to do something with this. This is so much fun. To me, I associated it with playing video games. I thought it was just as fun as playing computer games. And actually, still to this day, I believe that. I think it's even more fun than playing computer games. And that's just my own personal opinion. And the reason I think it's more fun than playing computer games is because when you play a game, after so long, it gets, it gets kind of old and stale. And then, and then you want to move on to another game, right? Well, with programming, I've used the same, some of the same languages for my entire career so far. I've used them for seven years, and I still find them fun. So I think that's a really powerful message to get across. So what else? Why else do I love software engineering? Well, the second reason is because I feel like it's always changing, it's always dynamic, and there's a lot to learn. So if I ever do get bored of something, I can learn a new technology. I can play around building a new um, type of app, a new domain. So say I built for restaurants. Well, I could try building a sales-related app um, or, or another type of app, maybe a dating app right? And the sky's the limit with it. So the canvas is vast. And then the technologies that I can use on that canvas are very vast as well. So I feel like it's very versatile. So keeping it fresh, having a lot of different things that you can learn, keeps it very exciting for me. This is something I want to do for my entire career. I feel really good when I learn new things. It makes me feel accomplished. Even if it's just a small new thing every single day, it adds up over the long term. So the third reason, reason number three, why I like being a software engineer. I won't lie. The pay, the benefits, the work-life balance are all very, very nice perks, right? 
Uh, I get health, dental, and vision for my entire family um, and at a huge discounted rate. I think my company pays around 75% of each of those. Um, the benefits uh, as far as 401k, my company offers matching um, and it's just great. I, I take full advantage of it. And we're going to discuss equity soon. I work for a startup currently. So uh, that's going to be pretty sweet. I get unlimited PTO. And for those of you that don't know, unlimited PTO is basically I get to have any day I want off. I can request it and I get paid for it. There's no cap. There's no like, hey, 15 days a year, you get paid off. And I've worked at a couple different companies so far that have offered this. Uh, another one that I worked at was Motorola Solutions as a software engineer, and they offered this. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, another one is work-life balance, right? If I'm ever feeling like, hey, I need to take a mental health day because I just, I'm not, like, I don't think I can get into the zone and code today, or I have something going on personally at home, um, I'll, or I'm sick, I'm going to say, hey, I just, I just want off, you know, or, you know, after five, after six, if I'm not feeling like working anymore for the day, I'm not going to work anymore for the day, right? Uh, oftentimes, if I need to, like, if I feel I need to get ahead at work or I need to make up work, I'll wake up earlier in the morning and knock some stuff out. Like today, for instance, I woke up at 6 a.m. and I did a couple hours before work um, just because I, I felt like I could give it that extra push, get this PR ready that I'm about to submit here. And uh, little things like that, right? Why I also love being a software engineer. Tip number four, right? The culture. All of the places, except for one, that I've worked at as a software engineer have had really, really good culture. Uh, my current workplace, everyone vibes, everyone jives, everyone, we all get along, right? Programmers, from what I've experienced, other than maybe two or three people that I've met in my seven year software engineering career, um, have all been really, really helpful. They all have a passion for learning. They all wanna share their knowledge, right? So this is great to be around. If you can reciprocate, right? If you can pay it back, so when someone has, needs help from you, you're willing to lend a hand. I mean, this is, makes, it makes a great workplace. It makes a great environment. It makes a great culture. And then days and nights when you as a group of engineers can go out and maybe have a little, you know, let's go out and uh, go to a restaurant. Let's go out and go bowling and have a couple of drinks, right? It makes it really fun. It makes it a good team bonding experience. All right, reason number five why I love being a software engineer is being a part of a team. Being a part of a team. Everyone has their own little pieces that they're building on, but it all comes together, right? You all might be working collectively on an app. You all are working collectively to make the company that you work for successful, right? So it's a very team-based environment. It's not really a solo type of thing. A lot of people think that software engineering might be like a solo, I'm going to hide in the basement and work on some code. But really, you're part of a bigger picture. So it's great to have those people skills and... Look at some of my videos talking about communication as a software engineer, and you'll see what I mean. All right, reason number six why I love being a software engineer. I've done jobs where I had to be on my feet all day. I worked in restaurants where I had to work 12, 14 hours a day sometimes, right? And I think it's nice to have a nice job where you can just sit down. I love, ah, I love it. I love, can't recline this. Ah, can't recline. But I love it. I love sitting down, and I can recline it, actually. I love sitting down. I love having the option to stand. I can have a standing desk. I love having the option to lay on my bed and have my laptop on my, on my lap while I work. Um, it's just very flexible, right? I love having the option of going to a coffee shop and working for the day. I love having the option like working from home today like I'm doing right now. I love having the option of working from the office like I did yesterday, right? So it's very flexible and I think it's great. You know, it changes, it shifts up the mindset. It allows you to go into different environments and it's just, it's really, I find it to be really helpful, right? So my final reason why I love being a software engineer is a lot of my friends uh, are in tech. A lot of them are software engineers as well. So it's really cool getting to speak to them on certain topics and, and relate in that way. And throughout the years of me being a software engineer, um, I've made several more software engineering friends. So it's a compounding effect. I can talk to them and ask them what they're learning about. They can talk to me and ask what I'm learning about. And it's just something that I think is really, really cool, gets me excited, um, and it's a compounding effect. It, it reinvigorates me. It makes that passion for software engineering so much stronger. Okay, and one last reason why I love being a software engineer is having the opportunity to get to mentor those that are just starting off in their career 
or for those that are um, a little further along. And that's exactly why I run a monthly meetup called Open Code. And that's also why I make YouTube videos, right? I want to give back, I want to pay it forward, and I want to share my knowledge. Um, I think there's a video by Arnold Schwarzenegger that said that was one of the five rules of his success and that he believes are the five rules of success. And one of them is giving back, right? And that's precisely what I'm trying to do here. So thank you all very much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, click that bell notification so you'll see my new videos that appear. Uh, I'm making a lot of new content soon. I'm very excited to share it with you all. Until next time.